भारतीय शिक्षा समागम में राष्ट्रीय शिक्षा नीति की चौथी वर्षगांठ के अवसर पर पीएमसी के इस विशेष सत्र में आप सभी का मैं हार्दिक अभिनंदन आज शिक्षा समागम के रूप में आयोजित इस कार्यक्रम का उद्देश्य राष्ट्रीय शिक्षा नीति 2020 के अंतर्गत अब तक की उपलब्धियों और भविष्य का रोडमैप तैयार करना है आज का ये आयोजन शिक्षा का संगम है क्योंकि आज हमारे मंथन के केंद्र में प्रारंभिक शिक्षा से लेकर उच्चतर माध्यमिक तक की स्कूली शिक्षा सम्मिलित है Prime Minister Schools for Rising India aims to develop over 14,500 exemplary schools across India, setting good standards in providing equitable, inclusive, and innovative education. These schools are envisioned to be beacons of excellence, aligning with the principles of the National Education Policy 2020. प्राइम मिनिस्टर स्कूल फॉर राइजिंग इंडिया पीएमसी का उद्देश्य ऐसे स्कूली वातावरण का निर्माण करना है जहां बच्चों को जयपुर और इनोवेटिव ढंग से पढ़ाया और सिखाया जाए जहां पढ़ाई कोच नहीं बल्कि उल्लास बन जाए और इस क्रम में हमारे लिए गर्व की बात है कि आज हमारे साथ ऐसे सम्मानित गणमान्य वक्ता उपस्थित है जो इन्हीं विषयों पर अपने कार्य में अर्जित व्यापक अनुभव से समृद्ध अपने दृष्टिकोणों को हमसे साझा करेंगे इन गणमान्य वक्ताओं के साथ इनके कार्य जीवन की सफलता की कहानियां भी जुड़ी हैं, जिन्हें हम जानेंगे हम सभी जानते हैं कि शिक्षा एक परिवर्तनकारी शक्ति है और अखिल भारतीय शिक्षा समागम राष्ट्रीय शिक्षा नीति और पीएमसी का उद्देश्य इसी शक्ति को अधिकाधिक उपयोग कर राष्ट्र के भविष्य को गढ़ने में करना है हमारे गणमान्य वक्ताओं के विचारों में इसी शक्ति को और सुदृढ़ करने पर प्रकाश डाला जाएगा हायर एजुकेशन से जुड़े जितने भी प्रतिभागी हैं पैनलिस्ट हैं वो जोरावर हॉल में चले जाएं यहाँ पर पीएमसी का सेशन अभी होने जा रहा है और अब आज के कार्यक्रम के हमारे प्रतिष्ठित गणमान्य वक्ताओं से मैं आग्रह करना चाहूंगा कि आप मंच पर पधारें हमारे साथ हैं श्री विपिन कुमार एडिशनल सेक्रेटरी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ स्कूल एजुकेशन एंड लिटरेसी मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एजुकेशन गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया श्री अशोक पांडे जी एडवाइजर जेम्स इंटरनेशनल स्कूल इंडिया हम स्वागत करते हैं आप सभी का श्री परदेशी सिद्धार्थ कोमल सेक्रेटरी स्कूल एजुकेशन गवर्नमेंट ऑफ छत्तीसगढ़ सर हम आपका भी अभिनंदन करते हैं आज के कार्यक्रम में हमारे साथ हैं श्री गौरव गोयल जी फाउंडर एंड सीईओ समग्र ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग गवर्नेंस और श्री एस लक्ष्मी नारायणन प्रिंसिपल पीएम श्री केंद्रीय विद्यालय विरुद्धनगर चेन्नई रीजन हम अपने सभी सम्मानित गणमान्य अतिथियों वक्ताओं का अभिनंदन करते हैं और आप सभी से आग्रह करते हैं कि तालियों के साथ आप सभी इनका स्वागत करें आप सभी से एक आग्रह और है कि आप अपना स्थान ले लें और अब समय है हमारे सभी सम्मानित अतिथियों के स्वागत का प्लीज टेक योर सीट और ये सेशन पीएमसी का है तो इसमें पीएमसी में प्रतिभागी जितने भी गणमान्य अतिथि है वो यहाँ पर सम्मिलित रहे अन्य सत्र हायर एजुकेशन का जो सत्र है वो एग्जीबिशन हॉल और जोरावर हॉल में आयोजित हो रहा है तो आप सभी वहाँ पर स्थान करें पी एम सी टेबलेट फॉर स्कूल एनईपी एग्जाम्पलर स्कूल ये थर्मेटिक सेशन है और आज के कार्यक्रम का पहला सत्र है और समय है हमारे सभी अतिथियों के स्वागत का मैं डॉक्टर प्रीति मीणा डायरेक्टर स्कूल एजुकेशन मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एजुकेशन से आग्रह करूंगा कि सम्मानित अतिथियों को अंग वस्त्र और पौधा देकर उनका स्वागत करें उनका अभिनंदन करें डॉक्टर प्रीति मीणा Thank you. 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 Thank you.
केंद्रीय विद्यालय की कमिश्नर मैम से आग्रह है कि आगे आ जाएं।
so good morning everybody and uh, uh, my dear friends For this purpose, national education policy is there, and we start from the foundational stage, which is ECC, and that is very important aspect of national education policy because this is first time that the pre-primary education is recognized as a part of formal government school education system also, and. this policy is the first policy of this century also and this first policy of this century having a global vision i think we should be privileged to give our respect to honorable prime minister because it is his vision which says that skilling and the employability of education should be ensured and the youth they should be able to have some skilling also when they are leaving the school is going system but can we do it in all the schools all together it's a bit difficult because we are having some restraints also resources also and the time also and for this purpose we need to have some leaders leaders teacher leaders also the mentors also and the schools also but how schools can be the leader for showing the initiatives of national education policy and for this purpose in the budget 2022 announcement was made that we will have around more than 15000 schools across the country which will be known as pmc schools which will showcase all the initiatives of national education policy 
and they will lead the neighboring schools also so ob idea is not only to have 15000 schools idea is to have 14 15000 schools different parts one school or two schools in a block and these schools will handhold and ultimately we will take all these schools other schools also with the support of state governments uts and our uh, community support also to the level of pmc and to the level of national education policy ambitions so for this purpose today we are having four panelists also with us so i already told mr ashok pandey ji he is advisor at jm india he will speak on promoting excellence and innovation in pmc schools sri siddharth pardesi ji who is secretary of school education government of chatisgarh he will provide insights on state level implementation of pmc because he is looking after the implementation at state level shri gorav goel ji the founder and ceo of samagra transforming Go governance as i told that he is working already in uttar pradesh and haryana especially because uh, and uh, will add, he will address the policy implementation and governance and finally uh, the shri lakshmi narayanan from our kendriya vidyalaya pmc kendriya vidyalaya in viruddhanagar chennai region so all the panelists they are coming from different spheres of educational ecosystem and it is a must it's necessary because today we say that policy so it's not it cannot be the go policy uh, which is by the government the policy has to be for the people by the people of the people and when all these stakeholders they will join only then we will achieve the objectives the targets and ultimately whatever we are doing at state level district level or national level who is going to implement at the cutting edge it is the chief teacher the principals the head teachers you people actually this is only one day that we are standing here and you are sitting that side but otherwise you only have to take the lead the student will interact with you and that's why mr lakshmi narayanan also is here with us and i will not take much of your time but will request for sure that during question answer sessions we will have many queries so please come out and just ask many questions it's a learning session it's not that we have done something and we like to just uh, tell you about that that's all from my side for the time being and i will request now sri ashok pandey ji to come and share his views his work we already are taking his support in the implementation of pmc schools and i am hopeful that his insights will give our direct uh, uh, miss will give further directions to us thank you you can change with this next slide oh, that's fine yeah thank you uh, shri vipin ji for your very kind introduction and also setting the context for this discussion which we are going to have my distinguished panelists distinguished officers from the ministry of education colleagues friends ladies and gentlemen सिर्फ थोड़ा सा आप लोगों का मन हल्का करने के लिए इस भव्य अशोका हॉल में अशोक पांडे की तरफ से आप सभी लोगों का स्वागत है वी हैव टू डिवोट दिस पर्टिकुलर सेशन टू पीएम श्री स्कूल्स इट हैज बीन रिपीटेडली सेट बट आई एम आल्सो रिपीटिंग इट बिकॉज इट लुक्स वेरी नाइस टू से दैट prime ministers schools for rising india you know a lot of aspiration and a lot of future making is contained in this particular acronym which we use as pm shri schools uh, all of you know as educators that the national education policy 2020 uh, is based on a, a foundation or edifice of five pillars and what are those five pillars access equity quality affordability and accountability these are the five pillars now if every child in this country is to be given the highest educational experience quality education as we call it i think the government has to take a lead 
and create some models. And that is why I envision, in my personal opinion, that setting up of PM Shri schools uh, is a step forward to come up front by the government and tell that, look, this is how inclusion, this is how equity, this is how quality, this is how affordability, this is how accountability uh, can be set as an example. So that is what PM Shri schools are, in my opinion. Now, what is their vision, why they are so, and what the government and all the educators should do? Number one, Rabindranath Tagore famously said that the education is nothing but giving a very joyful and creative engagement to the children. These are the two things which he said. And Swami Vivekanan also equally famously said that it is the unique potential of every child, that is the perfection within as we call it, should be manifested and that is the job of the education. So putting these two things together, the joy, the creative experience and uniqueness of the child and unleashing it with myriad possibilities is the vision. Now, how will this vision be experienced or realized? And that is what I think is the mission of PM Shri schools, that these schools, as Vipinji said in his opening remarks, that they will become the lead schools. They will lead by example. They will be the mentors. They will be the centers of excellence. And they will deploy two very important uh, instruments. One instrument is sustainability. And the second instrument is advanced pedagogical practices. So that is what the mission is. And with this, I think uh, the call to the nation is to join hands and give support to these schools, more so to this cause and this particular way of education. And that is how ensuring a bright future, not only for these children, but also for the country. The young girl in the beginning, she, she talked about what we call Atma Nirbhar Bharat and a Vikasit Bharat by 2047. And that can be realized only by practicing certain things. And those things are going to be the hallmark or the unique practices or USP, if I can use the word, of these PM Shri schools. And therefore, in years to come, it is, it is just a two years old uh, idea uh, one year old implementation and therefore it is in its nascent stage I think and how they are going to unfold will be something mesmerizing I can assure you that. I have had the privilege to speak to many of the PM Shri school functionaries, principals and teachers and the kind of excitement and enthusiasm that they have shared with me suggests that there is a paradigm shift in their own talk. Uh, in their own thought process, in their own experience, and in their own way at which or through which they look at education and the development of the children. And that is why I am very, very confident that this is what the PM Shri schools are going to do. So all this vision and mission and the way forward, uh, how it is going to pan out, I will just show you uh, two or three slides. Uh, can you go to the uh, next one, please? So three things that uh, will ignite uh, the future at PMC schools. Number one is transformative educational practices, experiential, hands-on, where student-led initiatives will be given primacy over the teacher-led initiatives. And second, of course, is for all this, what we need and what I think as a teacher myself for many decades, that it is the transformation of teachers. It is the capacity building of teachers. It is the correct training pre-service, in-service, correct recruitment, correct progression of their career, and making continuous professional development integral uh, to what teachers do is the second ignite. And third, of course, is uh, ensuring that our learning experiences become as personalized as possible. Next, please. So we all are saying that uh, I am saying more so, more than anybody else, that these schools are going to be beacons of success and excellence. And for that, what are those successes mean? 
in a very very granular form number one is academic excellence which is the first and foremost thing the second is not only academic or cognitive but also the personality the character the values they are very very important and that we put all together encompassing what we call holistic education and the third of course is community engagement and it is the community engagement only will make academic uh, excellence and holistic excellence a very very sustainable process so how the community is engaged the parents are engaged the 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 overall goal of education extends beyond the boundaries of the campuses that will decide so these are the three pronged uh, strategy that i am sure will make these schools what we call a beacon of excellence next please and uh, how they will become uh, models they will become models by sharing the best practices leveraging the expertise uh, the kind of inputs are coming in in terms of infrastructure in terms of uh, capacity building of uh, teachers uh, in terms of creating a social moral and innovative compass uh, on the campuses these best practices will ensure that uh, we are able to scale this whole experience nationwide the second is of course we have to devise a collaborative network not only of these schools but also these schools and schools outside it and also uh, the global experiences of schooling all over the world and third of course is uh, these uh, pm shri schools uh, will cater to uh, vipinji has already said uh, every block of this country having two uh, such schools imagine uh, that what will be its extent and if that extent uh, can be realized and leveraged i think that will be a very very uh, great strategic success uh, innovations shaping the future of future schools so what are those innovations which are envisaged and which are already uh, in play uh, which is uh, already igniting the minds of those young children who are studying in these schools so the first of one of course is cutting edge technology uh, ai powered personalized learning stream science technology robotics engineering arts and mathematics and pm shri schools are redefining the boundaries of excellence through hands on experiential learning and inclusive practices they nurture well rounded individuals equipped to tackle complex real world challenges so the whole idea is that how do we make these schools uh, to make our children sensitive to the real world problems and that inspiration we draw from two or three things about what is happening in our world uh, one is uh, international inspiration and that is to achieve the sustainable developmental goals sdgs we call it 17 of them and if we are able to sensitize our children uh, to not only think about themselves but also to think about poverty hunger gender inequality lack of clean water and energy employment uh, reduced uh, inequalities in other fields uh, responsible consumption uh, taking care of the climate and also to ensure uh, that this world uh, is uh, guided by strong institutions and governance social justice i think if if this kind of input is given uh, then only we will be able uh, to shape what we call a real world innovation and make these uh, these schools uh, uh, the real hubs of technological innovation a uh, real uh, hub of personality development and producing what we call quality men and women Uh, who will lead the world and uh, going beyond the boundaries uh, the children will have immersive experiences global collaboration that is very very important to know about the world particularly in the world today uh, when all of us know that any issue in one part of the world suddenly becomes very very impactful in other part of the world howsoever distant or near that may be and sustainable curriculum which i just now mentioned uh, that the the curriculum of course on one hand has to be very very dynamic it has to be 
are local, it has to be national, it has to be international, but at the same time, education for sustainability should be the defining formula for any sustainable curriculum. Next. And uh, with this, uh, I want to just share with you that uh, these young leaders will come out of uh, these schools. Uh, they will be socially responsible citizens. As I said, they will be catalysts of transformation and they will, and these schools collectively will set the new standards for the future learning in India and that day is not very far. And my last message, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is that um, as I said in the beginning of my talk that all of you as educators have to join hands. You have to, to understand that the education has to be uh, reimagined. And the reimagination of education suggests that we have to reflect on the practices of education which we have been pursuing. And those practices which are very good, and there are some of those practices which are very good, they are to be retained uh, in every form. But there are some practices which have not done well, they need not be retained and that should be discarded. And between these two exercises, the third option should also be available that what are the new imaginations and innovations that we can do to make our education sustainable. And therefore, my call to all of you as educators is that please join hands to create a new beginning of a new future of the young India. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ashok Pandeji, for your enlightening address and for sharing your vision for PM Shri schools. इस सत्र में अब समय है ये समझने का कि PM Shri योजना देश के विभिन्न राज्यों में, यानी राज्य स्तर पर किस प्रकार से कार्यान्वित हो रही है। इस पर अपने महत्वपूर्ण विचारों से हम सभी को अवगत कराने के लिए मैं आमंत्रित करना चाहूँगा छत्तीसगढ़ सरकार के स्कूल शिक्षा सचिव श्री परदेशी सिद्धार्थ कोमल को। श्री परदेशी सिद्धार्थ कोमल 2003 बैच के छत्तीसगढ़ कैडर के आईएएस ऑफिसर हैं। सर ने छत्तीसगढ़ में रायपुर, बिलासपुर, राजनंदगांव और कबीरधाम जिलों में कलेक्टर के रूप में अपनी सेवाएं दी हैं। श्री परदेशी सिद्धार्थ कोमल छत्तीसगढ़ मुख्यमंत्री के सचिव भी रह चुके हैं। वर्तमान समय में First of all, I would like to thank Department of School Education and Literacy to, well, uh, to uh, invite me to give this uh, keynote speech on PM Shri schools. To begin with, this uh, um, our panelist uh, Shri Vipin Kumar sir, Additional Secretary, Government of uh, India, Shri uh, Shrimati Preeti Meena ji, Director PM Shri. Esteemed panelist Shri Goel ji, Shri Pandey ji, Shri Lakshmi Narayan ji, and all the teachers who are all present over here, mainly from the Kendri Vidyale and officers of Ministry of Education. Today, already we have spoken about, uh, we have heard ab uh, from our uh, uh, in the first session regarding the execution of the uh, national education policy my focus will be mainly on execution of pm shri at the district level at the state level i will not be speaking much about the concepts but what are the challenges we are facing at the state level and district level and how to overcome them and make it a model project for the entire state next please this is just a brief the pm shri was the uh, late starter for our state we uh, formally inaugurated it in uh, february to the, uh, 2024 but in past 3 4 months we have done a lot of work which i will be focusing in this uh, presentation next uh, i will give you before explaining how pm shri is executed and implemented in chhattisgarh i'll just let you know i would welcome our honorable uh, secretary sir also Sanjay Kumar sir.
वेलकम सर बिफोर गोइंग इन टू द एस्पेक्ट हाउ वी आर इम्प्लीमेंटिंग पी एम श्री इन छत्तीसगढ़ आई जस्ट इन दिस वन स्लाइड आई एक्सप्लेन ब्रीफ डिटेल अबाउट छत्तीसगढ़ छत्तीसगढ़ इज ऑलमोस्ट इज अ ट्राइबल डोमिनेटेड स्टेट विथ अराउंड फोर्टी फोर परसेंट एरिया अंडर फॉरेस्ट कवर एंड इट इज अफेक्टेड मेजर पार्ट ऑफ द स्टेट इज अफेक्टेड बाय एल डब्ल्यू एक्सट्रीमिज्म वॉट वी कॉल इट नेक्सलिज्म डिस्ट्रिक्ट लाइक दंतेवाड़ा सुकमा बीजापुर नारायणपुर कांकेर दीज आर हेवीली इन्फेस्टेड बट वी आर मेकिंग स्ट्राइड्स इन डेवलपमेंट इन दीज डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑल्सो other than left wing uh, left wing extremism we have got around 20 blocks which are aspirational blocks educationally block uh, backward blocks are 74 out of 146 that's a major number and in terms of literacy also we are 71% why i am showing this uh, facts uh, these details are for us to implement any scheme there are some challenges hurdles which are not which are not there in the mainland states so these hurdles and challenges also we have to overcome like for example pm shri scheme we are implementing in sukma bijapur konta which is which are remotely uh, inaccessible area so that's a major challenge for us so that is why i am mentioning uh, i am explaining the details of chatisgarh over here next pm shri the concept of pm shri we all know is to provide mentorship to the nearby schools to implement national education policy 2020 to create individuals equipped with key 21st century skills uh, providing quality teaching learning and cognitive development to make india a vibrant knowledge society strengthening ex existing schools and em emerging as a exemplar schools these are the major aspects which are of uh, pm shri schools and uh, i'll be explaining these in details in coming slides as far as chatisgarh is there in phase 1 we had 193 elementary schools and 18 secondary schools the, so out of 20, 211 schools 193 schools selected were elementary schools here as a caution i would like to uh, tell all of you because uh, Uh, Kendri Vidyal is there, but some SPDs and state secretaries are also sitting here. While selecting uh, PM Shri school, please ensure that there is a balance between the higher higher secondary schools and elementary schools. In first phase, we made a mistake. I'm I'm uh, I'm just uh, telling you, we made a mistake of focusing more on elementary level schools. So that thing we corrected in phase three. Phase two we couldn't do anything, but phase three we corrected it. And in phase three we focused mainly on the higher secondary school because our ratio got uh, skewed in the first phase. So that aspect please take into consideration because all these uh, information, all the uh, school selection is done through the challenge portal. There is a district level committee which uh, recommends all the schools, and there is a challenge portal, and from there it comes to the state, and the state recommends to government of India. so while selecting the school please ensure that that ratio is maintained this is mainly for the administrators at the state level offices next please now these are the few aspects uh, which i will explain what we are doing at field level one of the aspect of pm shri is to promote mentorship to other schools as was mentioned earlier also we can't make all schools schools of excellence but here as pm shri also uh, pm shri schemes also talks about that we uh, and even nep talks about the school cluster aspect here we are making one school as a model school and we have mapped schools uh, surrounding that pm shri which we have selected and those school all the principal students we are bringing to this model pm shri school for training and other aspects so first aspect what we did was once pm shri schools were selected we converged various schemes and other than funds we are being provided by pm shri we converged other schemes also and tried to uh, tried to make it a model school we gave school level uh, we gave a state level training to all the principals and teachers of pm shri to make them uh, to uh, uh, through di state level diets and other organizations to make them Um, uh, to uh, increase their talent uh, we did that thing and secondly for students we tried to map the uh, map the capabilities of student through various organizations like unicef and other ngos and we did a psychometric and other kind of uh, uh, analysis of the students to find out what are their capabilities so this kind of thing was done in pm shri schools at the first level next 
second aspect of pm shri which is the primary aspect is to implement nep and here we ensured that all aspects of nep which we did in the first phase were implemented in this pm shri schools uh, as far as school education is uh, concerned there are around 202 tasks which are defined in nep tracker which the state government has to do and there are some sh uh, short term medium term and long term goals which we have to achieve in NEP. So at our state level, we have immediately started working on the short term and medium term goals and ensured that all were implemented in the NEPs which we have uh, in all the PM series which we have selected. For example, FLN, the foundational literacy and numeracy work with uh, Jadui Pitara and other aspects TLM work were done in all the P uh, PMC schools. Vocational education work was also done where vocational education was not sanctioned through Samagra. We used funds from DMF, CSR and other schemes to start uh, vocational training for students between 9 to 12th in those schools. Similarly, ICT labs were set up both through uh, Samagra Shiksha's funds and through district funds. What I am trying to say is through uh, PM Shri funds, it will not be possible to start all the initiatives in your school. But you can take help of because lot of Kendra Vidyale uh, principals are sitting here. Collector is nodal of your uh, uh, organization, uh, organizing committee. You can take help of collector because you can't work in isolation just depending on government of India fund. You can take lot of uh, support from the local agencies also through local people also to start all these initiatives. Gender equity work was started. Career guidance was started as was mentioned here. We uh, involved UNICEF to start career counseling in our schools and they have made very good cards and UNICEF works I think so across the country in most of the states. So UNICEF and other organizations they helped in starting uh, career counseling. Programs for CWSN, here we uh, engage some NGOs, they also helped us in the program. And finally, multilingual uh, uh, education aspect also we worked. Here I would like to say that in Chhattisgarh there are around 16 dialects which are spoken and around 4 inter-state languages which are spoken like Marathi or Telugu, Oriya and Bengali. These four languages are also spoken. So what we have done is in uh, elementary level through our SCRT, we have prepared books in uh, this uh, in other languages also. It is what we called uh, in Hindi Dui Bhasha book. One page is in Hindi and other page is in the local language. So these kind of books were prepared for the elementary level. Here we took help of some NGOs also in preparing these kind of books and uh, um, some uh, NGOs helped us in uh, audiovisual uh, kits also which were helpful for the children. But here the challenge was to train the teachers in these languages. So that was a major challenge on which we are working, our SCRT is working in training our teachers in multilingual education. Next. Skill development is a major aspect uh, which, uh, which, uh, which is a part of uh, um, NEP also and which we implemented here. And uh, as uh, I'll just uh, uh, tell you the issue which I faced initially after joining, I joined around six months back and uh, I asked my team regarding uh, the functioning of Atal Tinkering Labs. So ATL is uh, basically uh, supported by Niti Aayog and uh, the funds are directly given to the schools and there was not much of proper monitoring we found at the state level. So we devised a mechanism with PM Shri principals to activate these ATL labs and ATL has given a month, uh, year long timetable also how the work is to be done. There is a dashboard, everything is to be done. So we trained our teachers in ATL. We called uh, the principals of PM Shri to state level, had a three day uh, orientation meeting, or orientation training on ATL and uh, digital uh, uh, ICT lab uh, knowledge and that helped those principals also to take down the knowledge to the local schools. Career awareness and teacher skill development is an important aspect on which we are working. Next. One important aspect because most of most of you are uh, principals of Kendri Vidyale, teachers orientation and motivation is very important aspect. After joining education department, one issue which I faced was uh, the motivational level of teachers in most of the schools was not very high. So that even you will accept that sometimes this is an issue. 
so we have to motivate teachers and for that we are developing programs through scrt to motivate teachers i am not saying all teachers are motivated we have got the best of the kind teachers also in our uh, government schools but some teachers motivation level has to be increased especially some teachers who are about to retire in 2 3 years their motivation level goes down so how to motivate them because they are there in all the schools especially pm shri school so that is one aspect on which we are working and to align them to nep so that aspect through scrt we are working and we have made master trainers on the for these pm shri schools who go and train and motivate these teachers once these teachers get trained motivated then because they will act as a school for mentor mentorship they will train the cluster area schools also in these aspects next strengthening of existing school as i told you that uh, there is sufficient fund which we are getting from government of india for pmc school but that will not be sufficient for everything especially for state school because kendri vidyale they get lot of fund uh, they regularly get funds but state uh, state schools do have some budget budgetary allocation aspect uh, issues also so here develop uh, we uh, we made a we did swot analysis of all the pmc schools and we made a three year project what are the priorities of the civil work we have to take in first year second year third year that kind of priorities were made for example playground is there uh, smart classroom green school solar panel so these kind of priorities were done and i'll uh, tell you in next slide how it was done next this is a major aspect on which i would like to focus is convergence of various schemes for development of pm shri schools we uh, we uh, didn't depend just on funds from pm shri that was that was an important aspect which we got from government of india but at the same time as i told you that chatisgarh is a mineral rich state also so we used funds from dmf through collectors to get uh, to develop the uh, infrastructure in the schools now kendri vidyalayas are there in many many states they are in uh, mineral rich uh, area so the, uh, here you can take help of collector also in developing your infrastructure and even for uh, hr management you can use funds from dmf for csr fund was also used for the development of the schools there is a scheme called jal jeevan mission in uh, jal jeevan mission we uh, we took help of phed de department to provide uh, drinking water uh, system to our schools and earlier also the drinking water was there but we uh, uh, augmented the uh, capacity of the all the drinking water system which was available in the school we uh, health uh, health department helped us in uh, ayushman and chirayu health schemes panchayat departments uh, help was taken in recycle uh, in recycling of waste and maintenance of school prom uh, premises as i already mentioned collaborations were of various ngos were taken in skill development with us for example now honorable prime minister has started a uh, program abhiyan ek ped maa ke naam so we ensured that we took help of here in our state forest department was the nodal we took help of forest department in doing green fencing and uh, doing plantation around the schools so in this way you can make use of different schemes of state and government of india which can be helpful in development of the schools in your area next please these are some photographs which i would like to uh, show you summer camp was non existent in government schools previously it was it was just local initiatives where uh, summer camps were organized mostly uh, once the schools uh, breaks for the summer vacation there were no camps or anything these were par these were only heard uh, heard or uh, organized in the private schools so summer camps were organized i am sharing this picture of sukma district sukma is also one of the remotest district of our area so so after pm shri started summer camp state government of chatisgarh decided to organize summer camps i would like to tell sir in all the schools of chatisgarh so summer this year we organized summer camp pm shri was the uh, what you say the path breaker and uh, we organized in all the schools uh, this summer camp and a lot of creative act creative activities were done here again generally during summer vacations teachers also take vacation so motivating teachers to come during summer vac uh, summer vacation and organize camp that is also challenge and our school teachers they came and they organized this summer camp next green greening school activities through forest department these are photographs of uh, bijapur district bijapur is also one of the remotest district you can see kitchen garden and other things are being done here next career counseling as i told you uh, we we took help of uh, uh, unicef and some organization unicef has developed their cards for career counseling next 
these are the exposure visits also which organized for the schools in pm shri this is korba district and regularly we have organized uh, physical activities also for the international yog day uh, it was not just for one day yog we have made it compulsory for all the schools in our uh, state department next ICT smart classrooms. We are taking help of DMF ICT in developing these uh, ICT classrooms. We are getting uh, funds from Samagra also, but these funds are also being used. And this is the uh, late, uh, the recent scheme which Honorable PM launched, Ek Ped Ma Ke Naam. So that also we have started and implemented in PMC school. So that's that's the thing from uh, Chhattisgarh State. Thank you. Thank you, Shri Pardeshi Siddharth Komal sir, for providing us with a detailed view of the implementation of PM3 scheme at state level, especially in Chhattisgarh. Satra mein ab hum aage badhte hain aur samjhenge policy implementation aur governance ke baare mein. Is vishay par baat karne ke liye main aamantrit karna chahunga Samagra Transforming Governance ke founder and CEO, Shri Gaurav Goyal ko. Gaurav Goyal is an impact entrepreneur and the founder and CEO of Samagra. A mission driven governance consulting firm. Prior to Samagra, he was a management consultant with McKinsey and Company. He will share his experience and how his initiatives from Samagra transforming governance is improving learning outcomes by focusing on the attainment of foundational literacy and numeracy in line with NEP 2020. Sri Goyal, hai apka. गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीवन सभी को मेरा नमस्कार सबसे पहले तो मैं स्पष्ट कर दूं कि अभी तक के जितने वक्ता रहे हैं सभी लोग पीएम श्री की इंप्लीमेंटेशन को ड्राइव करने में डायरेक्टली इन्वॉल्व है मेरा ऐसा कोई अनुभव नहीं है आ, और फिर सवाल आता है कि मैं यहां क्यों हूं और क्या विषय आपके सामने रखूंगा क्यों हूं यह तो विपिन जी बताएंगे बट मेरा अनुमान यह है कि जब आप आ, सिस्टम के अंदर होते हैं आ, तो आप एक स्टेट के सिस्टम को बहुत क्लोजली बहुत वर्षों तक देखते हैं जब आप सिस्टम के बाहर रह के और सिस्टम के साथ काम करते हैं तो आपको अलग अलग राज्यों का जो एजुकेशन सिस्टम है और उसमें क्या क्या सिमिलैरिटीज़ हैं क्या डिफरेंसेस हैं वो अनुभव करने का अवसर मिलता है ऐसे ही अवसर मुझे और हमारी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन को पिछले दशक में मिला है विशेषकर उत्तर भारत के काफ़ी राज्यों में राज्य सरकारों के साथ मिलके एजुकेशन के अंदर फंडामेंटल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एम्बिशियस प्रोग्राम्स को रन करने का अवसर मिला है चाहे वो हिमाचल में हो हरियाणा में हो उत्तर प्रदेश में हो सो so, उसी अनुभव के आधार पर कुछ साझा करने का आ, मन में होगा तभी मेरे को यहाँ बुलाया गया है विषय जो मैं रखना चाहता हूँ वो है इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ सच प्रोग्राम्स लाइक पी श्री ये जितने भी एम्बिशियस या ट्रांसफॉर्मेशनल प्रोग्राम्स कंसेप्चुलाइज करिए जाते हैं उसमें चैलेंज कंसेप्ट में नहीं है जैसे हम जानते हैं कंसेप्ट तो बहुत अच्छा है और सभी लोग यहाँ जो सत्र में बैठे हैं सभी इस बात को मानेंगे कि पीएम श्री बहुत एक अच्छी सोच है उसके पीछे कि एन को किसी भी पूरे पूरे सिस्टम में सब स्कूल्स में मैनिफेस्ट करने में समय लगेगा तो कुछ सेंटर ऑफ एक्सलेंस बने कुछ ऐसे हमारे लाइट हाउस स्कूल्स बने जहाँ पर हम कम समय में एन को स्पिरिट में मैनिफेस्ट करवा पाएँ ये सोच है पीएम श्री के पीछे आ, तो बाधा वहाँ पर नहीं है बट आज से पाँच साल बाद पीएम श्री एक सक्सेसफुल इनिशिएटिव के तौर पर हम लोग देखेंगे आ, या नहीं उसका सारा आ, जो डिफरेंस आता है वो है इम्प्लीमेंटेशन में <coughs> और इम्प्लीमेंटेशन द डेवल इज़ इन द डिटेल द डेवल इज़ इन द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन जैसे कहते हैं आ, तो हमारा पिछले आ, दस वर्षों में जो भी सरकारों के साथ अलग अलग क्षेत्र में शिक्षा में भी और अन्य क्षेत्रों में भी जो पॉलिसी इम्प्लीमेंटेशन पे काम करने का आ, आ, जो अनुभव रहा है उसके आधार पे हमने पांच सूत्र निकाले हैं जिसे हम कहते हैं पंच सूत्राज फॉर गवर्नेंस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन पांच ऐसे सूत्र जिनको अगर सही से थॉटफुली जितने अच्छे से इम्प्लीमेंट किया जाएगा उतारा जाएगा अपने कार्यक्रम में हमें मांग हमें लगता है उतना हमारे सक्सेस की प्रॉबिबिलिटी बढ़ेगी तो उन पंच सूत्रों में से मैं तीन सूत्र आज आपके सामने साझा करना चाहता हूं और ये तीन सूत्र पीएम श्री के कंटेक्स्ट में पीएम श्री के संदर्भ में आ, मैं रखने की कोशिश करूंगा 
पहला जो सूत्र है वो है क्लैरिटी ऑफ गोल कि कंसेप्चुअल क्लैरिटी तो हमें है कि पीएम श्री स्कूल में क्या क्या चीज़ें दिखनी चाहिए क्या क्या चीज़ें होनी चाहिए बट क्या कब हम कहेंगे कि एक स्कूल सही में एक एक उत्कृष्ट पीएम श्री स्कूल बन गया है उसका क्या मापदंड है उसका क्या आर्टिकुलेशन है और उसको मापने का उसको मेजर करने का क्या तरीका है मुझे लगता है वो क्लैरिटी इम्पॉर्टेंट है और सिस्टम में सभी लोग ऊपर से लेकर नीचे तक सभी को उस चीज़ की क्लैरिटी होना ये आसान नहीं है बिकॉज बहुत ही एक एक होलिस्टिक विजन है पीएम एम श्री की तो उसको कैसे आप एक दो शब्द एक दो लाइनों में उसको आर्टिकुलेट करें उसको मेजर भी कर पाएँ ये आसान नहीं है बट अगर होता है तो उसका फ़ायदा होता है सबको पता है कि हमारा अल्टीमेट गोल क्या है उस गोल के पीछे काफ़ी सारे इनपुट्स हैं काफ़ी सारे आउटपुट्स हैं जो काफ़ी अच्छी तरह से गाइडलाइंस में दिए भी गए हैं उन इनपुट और आउटपुट के आधार पर भी एक एक पीएम श्री स्कोर कार्ड इस तरह की एक रचना और ऐसा नहीं कह रहा मैं जो सारी चीज़ें बोल रहा हूँ ये नहीं हो रही हैं काफ़ी सारी चीज़ें हो रही होंगी काफ़ी सारी चीज़ें पाइपलाइन में हैं बट फिर भी मेरे को लगता है जितने अच्छे से होंगी उतना अच्छे हमें रिजल्ट मिलेंगे तो इनपुट आउटपुट मेट्रिक के आधार पर एक पी एम श्री स्कोर कार्ड जो हर स्कूल का हो जो भी पी एम श्री स्कूल हैं जिससे ये पता लगे कि दस में से या सौ में से कहाँ पर वो स्कूल अभी है पी एम श्री की इम्प्लीमेंटेशन में दोनों बातें मैं अलग अलग कह रहा हूँ गोल को मैं आउटकम लेवल पे बोल रहा हूँ वो गोल आइडेंटिफाई करना उसका मेजरमेंट मेकेनिज्म आइडेंटिफाई करना और उसके पीछे क्योंकि आउटकम आने में समय लगेगा तो इनपुट और आउटपुट के स्तर पर एक स्कोर कार्ड पी एम श्री स्कोर कार्ड जो स्कूल के स्तर पर हो सकता है और उसको एग्रीगेट करके राज्य के स्तर पर भी बनाया जा सकता है तो कहीं कहीं हमारा तो ये मानना है कहीं ना कहीं कि पहले मेजरमेंट मैकेनिज्म तय हो जाए और फिर प्रोग्राम शुरू हो तो वो सही दिशा में सारी एनर्जी लगती है इसका अच्छा उदाहरण भी है जैसे एस्पिरेशनल डिस्ट्रिक्ट प्रोग्राम किया गया नीति के द्वारा कुछ वर्षों से तो उसमें शुरू से ही जो है ये सब मेजरमेंट पे मेट्रिक पे बहुत बहुत अधिक ध्यान गया वो भी आसान नहीं था क्योंकि वो भी बहुत होलिस्टिक डेवलपमेंट ऑफ डिस्ट्रिक्ट के ऊपर फोकस प्रोग्राम था बट uh, कुछ चीज़ें वहाँ पे uh, इस संदर्भ में अच्छी करी गई तो ये पहला uh, सूत्र है गोल क्लैरिटी गोल मेजरमेंट एंड इनपुट आउटपुट के आधार पर स्कोर कार्ड दूसरा सूत्र uh, दूसरा सूत्र है कि जब भी हम कुछ एम्बिशियस चीज़ ऐसी करना चाहते हैं uh, uh, तो उसमें थोड़ा मोमेंटम इज़ हेल्पफुल जब सिस्टम के अंदर और समाज में भी एक मोमेंटम बनता है किसी चीज़ के तरह तो चीज़ें जल्दी जल्दी होती हैं फास्ट uh, होती हैं तो मोमेंटम बनाने का प्रयास एंड मोमेंटम दो तीन तरह से बन सकता है एक तो सिस्टम के अंदर मोमेंटम थोड़ा कई बार कंपटीशन के माध्यम से भी बन सकता है कि अगर हमारे पास ऐसा स्कोर कार्ड है तो उसके आधार पे क्या हमें थोड़ा कंपटिटिव हेल्दी कंपटिटिव स्पिरिट सिस्टम में ला सकते हैं राज्यों के बीच में स्कूल्स के बीच में वो एक माध्यम है दूसरा माध्यम है कम्युनिकेशन कम्युनिकेशन आई जिसे हम कहते हैं सरकार के अंदर इंफॉर्मेशन एजुकेशन कम्युनिकेशन उसके माध्यम से भी एक मोमेंटम बन सकता है एंड वो समाज के स्तर पर भी है कि जहाँ जहाँ पीएम श्री स्कूल्स हैं क्या उस एरिया में जो रहने वाले बच्चे और बच्चों के जो अभिभावक हैं पेरेंट्स हैं उनको पता है कि हमें पीएम श्री स्कूल से क्या एक्सपेक्ट करना चाहिए अगर उनके मन में वो एक्सपेक्टेशन होगी तो कहीं ना कहीं वो वो स्कूल के ऊपर भी होगा कि हम उस चीज़ को डिलीवर करें तो समाज के स्तर पर भी एक कम्युनिकेशन है कि सबको पता हो कि पी श्री स्कूल क्या है और वहाँ पर क्या चीज़ें होती हैं मिलती हैं बच्चे को और ऐसे सिस्टम के अंदर भी आ, ये ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर का इनिशिएटिव है आ, तो उसमें सीएम्स को कैसे जोड़ा जाए एजुकेशन मिनिस्टर्स को जोड़ा जाए एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव अधिकारी तो लगे ही हुए हैं बट सिस्टम के अंदर भी एक मोमेंटम जनरेट किया जा सकता है और तीसरा कंपटीशन कम्युनिकेशन <coughs> ये सब चीज़ें हैं इसके अलावा रिवॉर्ड एंड रिकग्निशन हमारा अनुभव है कि उससे भी बहुत एक पॉजिटिव एनर्जी सिस्टम के अंदर आती है जब जो स्कूल्स अच्छा कर रहे हैं जो राज्य अच्छा कर रहे हैं उनको बहुत एक्सप्लिसिटली कॉल आउट किया जाए रिवॉर्ड किया जाए रिकग्नाइज़ किया जाए लेकिन उसमें एक एक छोटा सा वो ये भी है कि किस आधार पर रिवॉर्ड एंड रिकग्नीशन लगता है अल्टीमेट रिवॉर्ड रिकग्नीशन आउटकम के आधार पर होना चाहिए जो भी गोल सेट हम कर रहे हैं पहले बिंदु के अंदर उस गोल को जो अचीव करता है बहुत वहाँ पर रिवॉर्ड और रिकग्नाइज़ और अच्छे से आ, आ, उस चीज़ को आ, उसका प्रचार होना चाहिए तो कम्युनिकेशन सॉरी कंपटीशन कम्युनिकेशन और रिवॉर्ड एंड रिकग्निशन के माध्यम से एक मोमेंटम बनाने का प्रयास ये दूसरा आ, सूत्र है तीसरा सूत्र आ, जो मुझे अभी सेक्रेटरी स्कूल एजुकेशन छत्तीसगढ़ प्रेजेंट कर रहे थे उससे भी वो बात आ, और वो होती है कि बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस शेयरिंग हम यहाँ पर आ, दिल्ली में बैठ कर, कितनी भी अच्छी कंसल्टेशन करें कितना भी बेस्ट एक्सपर्ट से कंसल्ट करके कितना अच्छी रूपरेखा बनाएँ कितना अच्छा फ्रेमवर्क बनाएँ 
बट फिर भी वो गाइडलाइन ही है वो फ्रेमवर्क ही है असली इम्प्लीमेंटेशन तो ग्राउंड पे ही होना है और ग्राउंड पे इतना वेरिएशन है हमारे इतने डाइवर्स कंट्री में कि वो चीज़ों को ज़मीन पे उतारने के लिए बहुत इम्प्रोवाइजेशन की ज़रूरत पड़ती है बहुत इनोवेशन की ज़रूरत पड़ती है कि अच्छा ये गाइडलाइन में तो बोला गया बट इसको यहाँ करने के लिए क्या किया जाए और काफ़ी उदाहरण अभी ये जो प्रेजेंटेशन मुझसे पहले हुई उसमें देखने को मिले कि कैसे कन्वर्जेंस के माध्यम से फंड्स को यूज़ करके और अलग अलग पी श्री के जो अपने डायमेंशन हैं उनको इम्प्लीमेंट किया जा रहा है ऐसी बार बार मैं कई बार सुनता हूँ कि अब पी एम श्री स्कूल्स का एक सर्टन बेंचमार्क है वहाँ पे टीचर्स की एक प्रकार से ट्रेनिंग होनी है एक प्रकार से पेडोगॉजी होनी है करिकुलम होना है और बाकी अन्य स्कूल भी हैं तो कैसे हर चीज़ दो दो बार करी जाए आ, तो ये सब चीज़ों का सोल्यूशन है और ये सोल्यूशन जो है स्टेट के स्तर पर डिस्ट्रिक्ट के स्तर पर निकल रहे हैं तो उन पर कंटिन्यूसली अगर हम नज़र रख पाएँ और उनमें से जो रेप्लीकेबल चीज़ें हैं उनको वर्कशॉप्स के माध्यम से उनको संगोष्ठियों के माध्यम से जो है बाकी स्टेट से और बाकी जिलों से साझा किया जाए तो उसका भी बहुत परिणाम आता है मैं देख रहा हूँ हम जैसे निपुण भारत का कार्यक्रम कर रहे हैं उत्तर प्रदेश में पहले सक्षम हरियाणा किया था हरियाणा में इनमें बहुत एम्बिशियस गोल रखे थे बट गोल तो क्लियर था इनपुट भी दिए जा रहे थे बट उसके बाद भी जो इनोवेशन और जो इम्प्रोवाइजेशन जिले के स्तर के स्कूल पर स्कूल के स्तर पर हुई वो बहुत सराहनीय थी और उसको कॉन्टीन्यूसली देखते थे और उसको सब जगह स्प्रेड करते थे तो बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस शेयरिंग ऑफ हाउ टू मैनिफेस्ट द गाइडलाइंस एंड विजन इन टू रियलिटी ऑन ग्राउंड वो इज़ अ तीसरा सूत्र uh, तो यही तीन बातें हैं जो मैं आपके साथ साझा करना चाहता था अपने अनुभव के आधार पर uh, एक uh, जैसे मैंने कहा कि क्लैरिटी ऑफ गोल मेजरमेंट ऑफ गोल एंड इनपुट आउटपुट मेट्रिक के आधार पर एक स्कोर कार्ड आसान नहीं है इनपुट आउटपुट मेट्रिक आइडेंटिफाई करी जा सकती है बट उसका रिलायबल डेटा आएगा किस फ्रीक्वेंसी पे आएगा कितना वो ठीक होगा तो वो सब चैलेंजेस हैं दूसरा मोमेंटम इन द सिस्टम एंड आल्सो इन द सोसाइटी अराउंड पी एम श्री स्कूल्स थ्रू कंपटीशन कम्युनिकेशन रिवॉर्ड एंड रिकग्निशन एंड तीसरा रेगुलर वेरी रेगुलर बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस आइडेंटिफिकेशन एंड शेयरिंग अक्रॉस स्टेट्स अक्रॉस डिस्ट्रिक्ट बिकॉज अल्टीमेटली द सोल्यूशन विल गेट फाउंड ऑन द ग्राउंड within the larger framework of what has been given so thank you this is what i wanted to share with you and uh, thank you thank you for that yeah. thank you shri gaurav goel ji for your comprehensive talk on governance and policy implementation sir policy implementation and governance par apne anubhav aur nitiyon ki vyavharikhtaon par apne vistar se charcha ki iske liye aapka dhanyawad लेवल इन केंद्रीय विद्यालय विरुद्धनगर चेन्नई रीजन ऑनरेबल श्री संजय कुमार जी सेक्रेटरी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ स्कूल एजुकेशन एंड लिटरेसी ऑनरेबल श्री विपिन कुमार सर एडिशनल सेक्रेटरी डीओएसीएल रेस्पेक्टेड श्री परदेशी सिद्धार्थ कोमल सेक्रेटरी गवर्नमेंट ऑफ चंडीगढ़ श्री गौरव गोयल सी ओ समग्रा एंड श्री अशोक पांडे जी एडवाइजर जेम्स ऑनरेबल कमिश्नर मैडम निधि पांडे के वी एस एंड अदर एमिनेंट डिग्नेटरीज ऑफ द डायस एंड माई डियर कलीग्स आई स्टैंड बिफोर यू टू शेयर my experience with regard to the implementation of pm shri at pm shri kendriya vidyalaya virudhnagar uh, as we all know that most of the pm shri school my colleague principals are here and teachers are here that after the implementation of pm shri that an year went and we all know that a remarkable change is everyone could witness in the academics and also the school functionality ma'am next my school uh, the pm shri kendriya vidyalaya virudhnagar a small profile i am giving you that this is one kendriya vidyalaya that is recognized as pm shri kendriya vidyalaya in the entire virudhnagar district and the district is the birthplace of shri k kamaraj uh, former cm of tamil nadu who had a great visionary about providing education to the rural children made accessibility free accessibility to the education to all rural children and also he was the pioneer to introduce a noon meal scheme in our country for all the school going children 
and uh, my school uh, has got an enrollment of less than 1000 um, with almost equal number of boys and girls wherein uh, the parents whose wards are studying in the vidyalaya they are self employed and they have a agricultural base farming base and most of them are workers in cracker factories and uh, many are also workers in textile industries so it's it's almost a rural background and uh, this coming of the pmc scheme was a blessing to these small uh, two section schools where most of the visions and the schemes and strategies which were enlisted in nep 2020 we could realize it at least we could start it so let me just quickly uh, go through uh, the visible changes which took a kick start in the pmc kendri vidyalayas the first one is i'll just give you a brief outline that nep 2020 was introduced and our organization always take initiative to immediately implement uh, the nep 2020 um, uh, without any further instructions from the uh, uh, ministries or any other department so we started off almost all the teachers were exposed to this uh, nep 2020 and uh, uh, the moment after two years this pmc scheme uh, came into and uh, we are all told to apply for it uh, one year over after the implementation of this pmc scheme and uh, now we are here to just to see the uh, remarkable changes that one can witness in the school ambience and in the school functionality basically this national education policy 2020 has got five pillars as our ashok sir said and building upon that with six pillars the pmc scheme were designed in order to make a school completing and covering up all the areas which are required to make an ordinary school into an exemplar school the aim of implementing the pmc school is to make an exemplar school and uh, six pillars were actually been designed in that scheme the curriculum pedagogy and assessments is the first pillar then access infrastructure is second human resource and uh, school leadership third and inclusive practices and gender equity is the fourth pillar and management monitoring and governance as fifth pillar and the last one is the beneficiary satisfaction so with these five six pillars the exemplar making mission was envisioned by the pmc scheme i should say rather next one so the remarkable uh, change or the visible changes that i could witness in the school as an academic supervisor and educational administrator or these areas there are uh, uh, activities which were performed uh, uh, from the beginning as a customary activities in kendriya vidyalayas but the these activities took a kick start after the implementation of pmc scheme and uh, in fact the last year uh, we were we were put into the pmc network and uh, the funds have been granted and uh, i could see as an administrator a remarkable change the children learning process and also the teachers approach inside the classroom and the way they assess the children a remarkable changes that i could witness these are all some of the areas that the visible changes after the implementation of pmc which could be seen uh, a thinking about a skill lab in the school level was a dream was a mirage earlier though it was very much highlighted in the nep 2020 having a lab which is specifically mentioned for developing the skills among the students was actually a kind of dream and uh, that initiative start we started last year that almost uh, the construction agency were given and this year the lab will be functioning and fully function full which is going to be benefited for the children to develop their skills then uh, the pedagogical change Uh, there were few pedagogies which were mentioned in the nep 2020 one of the pedagogy was toy and game based pedagogy where children will learn and the learning will be a joyful learning so that toy based pedagogy uh, we could create and uh, we could make a toy library available in our vidyalaya okay that is one of the big achievement i should say that previously we used to have a library of books and now we have a library of toys at different age appropriate toys wherein the children can get into and uh, and they can handle the toys and play and by the time they learn 
see the the games can be of a zigzag puzzle the games the games can be of you know making the blocks or shaping into a, a kind of structure many uh, kind of materials were available so we created a toy library and the learning inside the classroom became a competency oriented okay wherein uh, the more emphasis was given to toy based not only toy based but also activity activity based learning we had activity based learning earlier before this implementation of pmc scheme but now the activity based learning becomes a mandatory one each time inside the class when the teacher goes right without tlm the teacher cannot go inside the class the situation has come into and previously the teachers were handling the handmade tlms whatever the two dimensional tlms like charts and flash cards these were all the common tlms the teachers used to make but now the tlms becomes into three dimensional tlms and uh, children enjoy using and handling the three dimensional uh, tlms uh, we uh, are in fact taking the children out for getting an experiential learning uh, environment and also the process exposure visit and field trips are two important things in that that is covered under pmc scheme and uh, uh, the pmc scheme also provides the continuous professional development of teachers enhancing the teachers to undergo in house and outside training consistently to update their pedagogical practices and also their approach towards assessing the children okay and uh, then uh, the mathematics and science learning normally with through experimentation or project based learning it was and now uh, the mathematics kit and the science kit were provided to the children uh, which in fact helping uh, the children to go ahead and uh, students assessment there is a change and the change in the school ambience overall school ambience is also the next, next slide so i'll just go through fastly the slides with a few comments uh, the digital infrastructure initiatives uh, the after the implementation of pmc the library became digitalized uh, we were provided with computers and softwares where the children uh, can make use of the library books and at the time of reading if they want to refer something the facilities were provided inside the library and the library is digitalized under the pmc scheme and uh, in fact the vidyalaya became into a completely digitalized vidyalaya 95% of uh, the classrooms were digitalized we had earlier 24 classrooms 10 classrooms we were provided with e classrooms but once this is implemented uh you know even our organization supported us to make the entire classrooms digitalized provided with interactive panels thanks so mathematics and science kits in fact which are helping the children to learn by taking a hands on experience while handling uh the toys they learn while handling the kits they learn and uh, that is wonderful when when you go into the max lab or science lab or into any of the laboratories or in the libraries it's wonderful to watch the children involvement in the learning which was not visible earlier now you can see th those kind of things next uh, 21st century skills development is the main agenda of the nep 2020 uh, uh, policy wherein the children should be equipped with skills other than the academics so that was the main thing the communication collaboration uh, working together as a team taking up the role of a leader in a team all these kind of skills are required for making the children to face the future uh, in the future years so those kind of skills to develop we do have uh, the teaching pedagogy got changed wherein the teacher adapts other than one way or teacher centered teaching the teacher adapts a collaborative uh, teaching method or pedagogy and also brainstorming role play different pedagogies were used inside the classroom which is very good to see previously i used to go to the classroom observation to see only a one way teaching and now uh, after two years a year back and previous year i could see teacher try to make the uh, students to learn in group so that collaboration when the academic target is achieved along with that the other 21st century skills are also taken care by the teachers and that is because of the cpd where the teachers are continuously exposed to learn other means and other methods of teaching next so the children enjoy uh, going outside experiential learning you see exposure visit is something to uh, take the children to an industry or a neighboring big institute higher institute where they get exposed to the available various work jobs or job roles and also the various kinds of uh, self employment possibilities 
and uh, field trips are taken normally to the nearby farms or nearby uh, eco environment places where children can involve themselves in how the environment need to be protected all kind of these things uh, so that provides the reflective sessions of this uh, it is not the question of previously we were taking them to the field trip previously we were taking them to the tour okay the thing is that now because of the implementation of pmc we have a reflective session once the things are completed, the reflective session enhances their communication and also that helps them to develop the communicating skills and uh, working together as producing a group assignment, all that. Next. So assessment, there is a difference because you know very well when the teacher is taking up the strategy of teaching into a collaborative teaching strategy, then naturally the assessment cannot be just like, you know, a monotonous assessment what we followed earlier. It should be innovative, it should be testing their understanding skills like uh, creative and critical thinking analysis. Ko test karne ke liye, kuch alag se question sochna padega teacher ko, so that uh, I could see when the teachers submit their periodic test question papers, uh, monthly test question papers, when you go through it, you can find the teachers ka jo soch hai, wo thoda sa badal, badalte ja hai. And that is very, very positive sign of uh, the very first year, year of PMC implementation. If we could see such a positive sign, definitely in the years to come, we will do wonders, okay, uh, like all other PMC schools. Next. Uh, general ambience change. Uh, of course, the school, uh, there is a word called as aesthetic uh, and safety. Okay, the ambience should be aesthetic as well as should provide a safe environment. So the safety is being provided by uh, almost all measures that we are, we are taking care of in the school building. And the ambience, okay, the children should come to the school loving and leave the school happy. So if that is the case, then the building need to be an inviting one. Okay, so the general ambience, there is a big change. I have shown also the picture of uh, the Vidyalaya which appeared in 2019, the last two pictures. Okay, and uh, now uh, it is made into a multicolor. Okay, so wherein uh, it is just an inviting one for the children to uh, enter in and uh, happily leave out. Next. Uh, a vocational lab is proposed and uh, it is got approved also. Hope so this year we will be getting the lab in physically available uh, mode and our children will be benefited because of this lab. Next. Uh, this is some toy library that we had set up in the school uh, wherein uh, the toys were used by the children uh, during the learning process. So this is one important thing that uh, we could achieve in the last year under the PMC scheme that the creation of a toy library in almost all the PMC schools uh, of PMC school Kendri Vidyalayas and I hope so other uh, PMC schools existing here, the principals here also will agree that they, they took, took initiative to procure items wherein children can play and learn. Okay, so that has been uh, a kind of thing change next so cbl is the normal process which is becoming now you cannot uh, now nowadays to go and uh, see a primary classroom where a teacher center teaching is taking place now almost in all the primary section especially in the fln uh, foundational stage and the next stages you find teachers go with a kind of TLM into the class with a kind of activity pre-planned in their mind and they go and achieve the targeted learning outcome. So the TLO uh, is achieved by means of making the children working in group. So the collaborative skills are targeted from the foundational stage onwards. So that will, if it is nurtured in the secondary and other things that we are going to keep continuously nurturing, that children will be definitely with absolute development of uh, 21st century skills in future. Okay, the next. Uh, Self-defense training uh, for the children is one of the scheme under the PMC that uh, has been successfully implemented and the children were growing with confidence and the ability to face the other gender uh, and also uh, could reply confidently. Uh, that is what I could see in the self-defense training aspect of PMCs. Next. So exposure visit to the neighboring agriculture institute where children were practically uh, see the mushroom culture, how it has been cultured and the ways and means of culturing and children, few children started uh, culturing the same at their home also. Okay, that is a kind of carrying over the learning which took place in the field back to their home was also one of the wonderful thing to observe and when they come and show the photograph that this, they have got the same mushroom form uh, like uh, kind of miniature at their home. So it is good to see. Uh, that they carry over the learning to their home. Next. 
So CPD for teachers is a constant one and a, a continuous one which is happening in, uh, in, in Kendriya Vidyalayas. Of course, every week we have one hour continuous professional development training, in-house training in the Vidyalaya level, updating the teachers about the varied pedagogies and also the recent advancements which were is taking place in the field of education. So that is one change that I can point out here. Apart from what I mentioned, there are other activities which I did not uh, mention it there in the slide, but I would like to just go through uh, because the time limit is uh, uh, 10 minutes. Drip irrigation and vermicompost, of course, in all the school it is present. We have developed this too. Expert talk uh, on sustainable development had been given. Assessment and career counselling was done last year. Provision for uh, additional napkin vending machines and incinerator for the girl students were provided. Provision for the lab articles and so sports equipment. Experts talk on gender equity and counselling sessions were given consistently. And community involvement in school and ac academic development is also a great achievement where the stakeholders participate in the school development and uh, the, through the Vidyanjali portal. That is a wonderful, another remarkable change and achievement that I could uh, witness in my school and part of all the other PMC schools also will agree to that. And uh, on behalf of uh, Kendri, PMC Kendriya Vidyalaya Virudhanagar, a big gratitude from the core of my heart uh, as a PMC beneficiary on behalf of all the stakeholders of my school, Virudhanagar, I convey a very big thanks to the PMC scheme uh, wherein the maximum number of rural students are benefited and they are in continuous benefit, they are going to be in continuous benefit in the future years also. Thank you so much. Thanks to all. Jain. Thank you, sir, for sharing these insightful experiences on best practices in your school. Or waktaon ko abhi tak humne suna. Ab samay hai aap sabhi ko bhi bolne ka. Aap sabhi ko apne vichar ya anubhav ya prashn saaja karne ka. To main sabhi panelistson aur pratibhagiyon se agre purva ki samvadatmak charcha mein bhag lene ke liye amantrit karta hu. प्रतिभागियों से आग्रह है कि पीएम श्री स्कूल और इस योजना से जुड़े अपने विचार अनुभव या प्रश्न अवश्य साझा करें माइक मेरा एक छोटा सा प्रश्न है आपसे पैनल से भी हो सकता है एजुकेशन पॉलिसी में 22.15 जो पॉइंट नंबर है उसमें ये वाली चीज है कि संस्कृत को उससे बाहर निकालेंगे जो संस्कृत के विद्यालय हैं उनसे जन्म मेन स्ट्रीमिंग करेंगे इसको मैं उस दूसरे पॉइंट से जोड़ रहा हूँ मल्टीलिंग्विस्टिक सोसाइटी कैसे बनाएंगे आप केवल आप तीन लैंग्वेज के अलग अलग पढ़ाकर बनाना इट्स क्वाइट डिफिकल्ट हमारे पास इतने सारे लैंग्वेजेज हैं हम नहीं पढ़ा सकते हैं तो क्या इसका कोई हल है आपके पास में कि किस तरीके से हम मल्टीलिंग्विस्टिक सोसाइटी बनाएंगे मैंने हमारे यहाँ पर हमने एक एक्सपेरिमेंट छोटा सा किया है वो आपके साथ शेयर कर दूँ आप उस पर कमेंट करें आपके पास कोई हल हो तो बताएं हमने संस्कृत से एल से शुरू किया है उसको एंड वी होप कि हम फर्स्ट और सेकेंड में उस बच्चे को वर्ल्ड की किसी भी लैंग्वेज में ट्रांसग्रेस कर सकते हैं हमने पीजीबीटी कॉलेज जो हमारे एजुकेशन के हैं वहाँ से एक्सपेरिमेंट भी कराया उसमें से रिसर्च में एक स्टडी जिसमें तीन तीन अलग 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 बच्चों को लैंग्वेज सिखाने के लिए और वो लैंग्वेज सिखाई गई उनको जो कि उन्होंने कभी सुनी नहीं थी जैसे मलयालम जो कि हमारे हिंदी स्पीकिंग एरिया में बहुत बस बस तो वो हमने सीखा बता बताया उसमें से और उस पर यह निकल कर आया जो संस्कृत से बच्चा निकल रहा था उसका जो प्रोनाउंसिएशन था उसमें वो बड़ा अच्छा था और बड़ी जल्दी सीखा यदि इसके अलावा कोई आपके पास में विकल्प हो तो वो बताएं कभी एक परिचय भी एक दे देंगे मैं जस्ट एक मैं करूंगा जो भी मैं प्रभात तिवारी हूँ मैं डायरेक्टर हूँ एम स्टेट ओपन स्कूल एजुकेशन बोर्ड और महर्षि पतंजलि संस्कृत संस्थान जो कि संस्कृत बोर्ड है मध्य प्रदेश का वो इज वर्किंग फॉर दी टू फोर्टी सेवन संस्कृत स्कूल थैंक यू I'm Subir Shukla. I'm former Education Quality Advisor to MHRD. So I'm curious to know 
how far neighboring schools have started learning from the PMC school. We heard so many good things. I'm uh, hoping that the, the impact is already going to begin. We don't have to wait for more years. So if any example, please share. Any other question? Uh, hello, uh, good afternoon everyone. Uh, I'm Kashyapi from NEPA. Uh, this is an observation rather than a question and perhaps it would help in the functioning of uh, PM Shri schools. Uh, I think Gaurav mentioned about uh, some of the key points and he spoke about competition, reward, recognition. Given my uh, decade of experience working with schools and school leaders, uh, a small anecdote uh, when in our, in our first interaction with school principals across managements, I asked one principal, how do you feel as a school principal? And she said, very lonely. So I think competition is more than community build. And when we talk about PM Shri schools, because as principals, there is so much of expectation that comes to them. And there are very few forums where they can actually go out and talk about their own feelings. So she mentioned that as teachers, there is also a staff room where we can talk about the problems. As principals, who will I go? Second anecdote, once again, which strengthens what I said is, when we ask school principals, because in NEPA we have a national center for school leadership, that we have a competition where school leaders are awarded. And they said, no, don't do it. We were surprised that we were doing it. They said, then in that competition, we have to go back to the other side. One who is working may not get rewarded. One who is able to document it well can get rewarded. But we want to learn from each other. And we don't want to compete with each other. So, make such a forum. Keep a conference. We will all come and learn from each other. We will do it. Where someone will listen to us and we will do it without any hierarchy, without any reward, without any carrot and stick that we can learn from each other. So, we have put accountability in it and with VSK it is going to come up. Our dashboards are beautiful, but what are we learning from it? So, what are we bringing to PM Shri School? So, let us keep PM Shri Schools in one block, at least in a month or two times. There is no such mechanism in the past, where what Subir asked, I think we can do that if it's not happening, but forming this community. Thank you. We'll take one last question because lunch time is there and I don't want that you are kept here while other people, they go and start lunch. Greetings to everyone. Uh, sir, my question is from, uh, from uh, S. Lakshmi Narayan, sir. Sir, I agree PM Yojana, which is the schools in the schools, understood. Sir, ne jitne bhi positive points hai, that he has answered over here, सारे mention किए, कोई ऐसा जहाँ पे उन्हें problem face हुई हो, वो उन्होंने कुछ mention नहीं किया, then only we can इसको अच्छे तरीके से implement कर सकते हैं। अगर हम कुछ negative या disadvantages points यहाँ पे discuss करें तो, so don't you think sir ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं आपको problem आई होगी? That should also be mentioned over here ना? Okay, okay, thank you. Any, any other question? Last. We'll take only one question. You can give them to them. Mike, give them to the left. This way, right? Mukta. And that is the last question. We'll take. Hello, everybody. Baleshwa Nath Pandey, CRT Bihar, official. Sir, maybe regarding Asok sir, there is a question. And the principal sir, Nathan sir, there is a question. That after school cluster, we do in NIPI. और ग्रीन एनर्जी की भी बात हम करते हैं तो क्या सोलर इनपुट्स पे भी बच्चों को फोकस करेंगे इनोवेशन में और दूसरी बात है कि स्कूल क्लस्टरिंग जो हम लोगों ने बिहार में शुरू किया है हम लोगों ने एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट के निर्देश पे अपने स्कूल्स के जो रिसोर्सेज हैं इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर्स है आईसीटी है स्मार्ट क्लासेस हैं 
इसको अपने स्कूल के साथ शेयर किया ट्रेनिंग स्कूल के जो आईसीटी लैब्स हैं या जो भी साइंस लैब्स हैं उसका प्रयोग उन बच्चों के लिए भी किया गया जो सेकेंडरी स्कूल के हैं तो हम लोगों ने स्कूल क्लस्टर के मॉडल को कुछ हद तक फॉलो किया लेकिन उसमें डिफ़िकल्टीज ये आ रहे थे कि रेगुलर टाइम टेबल और टाइमिंग जो है वो मैच नहीं कर रही थी तो टाइमिंग का एक लेकर के सिक्वेंस अगर बने तो रिसोर्सेस के साथ पी श्री के जो फंड्स हैं उसका यूटिलाइजेशन हम कर सकते हैं साथ अदर भी जो हमारे मॉडल स्कूल्स हैं उनके इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर को हम अपने भी वो दूसरे सेकेंडरी या प्राइमरी लेवल पर शेयर कर सकते हैं जिससे कि एक साथ कई ब्लॉक्स में हम इन्हेंस कर सकते हैं और फंड्स की भी हमें कोई बहुत ज़्यादा उसमें परेशानी नहीं होगी तो स्कूल क्लस्टरिंग पे फोकस एन का बहुत ज़्यादा है और उसमें ये भी कहा गया है कि हायर यूनिवर्सिटीज के टीचर प्रोफेसर को भी इंट्रोड्यूस किया जाए ताकि हमारा सेकेंडरी का चाइल्ड देखे कि प्रोफेसर्स असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर्स दे आर लेक्चरर्स उनके लेक्चर कैसे होते हैं हमारे स्कूल्स में वो उनसे इंस्पायर हो हमारे जो साइंटिस्ट हों उनसे वो इंस्पायर हो तो कहा गया कि ऊपर से लेकर नीचे तक सबको एक करने का और दूसरा सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट के लिए सोलर एनर्जी या ग्रीन एनर्जी के लिए बच्चों को मोटिवेट करना है ताकि इन फ्यूचर वी आर क्रिएट ए गुड सोलर एनर्जी एंड वी आर गेट ए गुड हेल्दी थैंक यू थैंक यू तो सबसे पहले मैं प्रश्न का उत्तर देना चाहूँगा मैं जस्ट आई जस्ट ट्राई टू गिव सम इनपुट्स to the queries which have been raised the first question was the multilingualism to usme main kewal kehna chahunga ki jo hamari ek dharna hai shayad national education policy aur iske andar multilingualism ki to usme kahin kuch ye galat fehmi hai ya kuch communication gap hai ki hum kisi bhasha ko ya to sikhana chah rahe hain ya kisi bhasha ko hatana chah rahe hain nep kewal do cheez bolti hai the first is ki initial education bacche ko उसकी मदर टंग में दी जाए उस भाषा में उसको दी जाए जिस भाषा में वो बच्चे के आसपास का वातावरण उसको बात करता है और उसका उद्देश्य केवल ये है कि शुरू के अंदर बच्चा जो है वो बोलना सीखता है तो इसलिए उसके मस्तिष्क को विकास होना चाहिए डेवलप होना चाहिए और यदि वो एक किसी एक भाषा में प्रोफिशेंसी हो जाएगी तो उसके बाद वो बच्चा किसी दूसरी भाषा में कम्युनिकेशन लर्निंग कर सकता है because nep says that in initial 5 years the foundational stage the child learns to read and after that he reads to learn aur later stage mein wo bachcha apni matrabhasha ke baad apni do language secondary senior second language mein usko seekhne hai jisse ek foreign language ho bachcha bahar bhi jaye global citizen usko banna hai to he should be able to communicate different languages so this is the basic of multilingualism isse na aage ना पीछे इट डज नॉट से कि संस्कृत का क्या होगा या नहीं होगा इंग्लिश का क्या होगा नहीं होगा कहीं पे हिंदी पढ़ाई जाएगी दिस इज द चॉइस ऑफ द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट 100 परसेंट हमारी जो एजुकेशन है इट्स ए पार्ट ऑफ कॉन्कोनेंट लिस्ट तो यदि मध्य प्रदेश में संस्कृत पढ़नी है नहीं पढ़नी है तो इट इज द पॉलिसी विच द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश हैज टू डिसाइड एंड दैट डिसीजन विल बी बेस्ड ऑन दी मिस रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ द कम्युनिटी रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ द सोसाइटी नथिंग इज गोइंग टू बी सुपर इम्पोज ऑन एनी इंडिविजुअल क्योंकि बच्चे की जो एजुकेशन और जो रिक्वायरमेंट है वो सबसे पहली प्राथमिकता नेशनल एजुकेशन पॉलिसी में है पहली चीज़ दूसरी चीज़ थी कि नेबर इट स्कूल के एग्जाम्पल्स तो इसमें अभी हमारे जो टीम्स हैं जाती हैं जगह जगह मैं खुद गया हूँ केरला में भी जहाँ पर अभी पी एम श्री आ रहा है दे आर ऑल्सो गोइंग टू साइन राजस्थान मध्य प्रदेश तो अभी हमारे जो स्कूल्स हैं उनको हमने आइडेंटिफाई किया उनको फंडिंग की है और निश्चित रूप से जो ट्रिकल डाउन है इट विल टेक सम टाइम लेकिन यदि किसी गांव में एक स्कूल है यदि वो पीएमसी का नाम ही उसको आ गया तो इवन इफ दीज स्कूल्स दे सपोर्ट दी अदर स्कूल्स और नॉट लेकिन एक इंस्परेशन एक इनक्रेजमेंट तो ऑटोमेटिकली आ ही जाता है वहाँ पर कि हमें भी ऐसा स्कूल बनना है और यदि किसी स्कूल को एक भी बच्चा जाके बोलता है कि मुझे इस स्कूल से जाके और दूसरे स्कूल में जाना है क्योंकि वो पी एम श्री स्कूल है तो मुझे लगता है कि सभी स्कूल के मन में अपने आप आएगा कि मतलब मुझे तो लगता है कि ये सेंसिबल यदि एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन और हेड टीचर्स होंगे कि नहीं बच्चे को नहीं जाने देना है एंड वी ऑल्सो विल हैव टू हैव दैट चाइल्ड इन द सेम स्कूल इन आर स्कूल ओनली तो वो अगर वो फीलिंग भी आ गई तो ये पी एम श्री स्कूल्स उसके बाद हमारी जो वोकेशनल लैब्स हैं ए आई सी टी है यदि अभी हम बात कर रहे हैं आज इनोवेशन मिशन लॉन्च हुआ तो उस मिशन में वी आर सींग दैट ऑल द स्कूल्स वेदर दे आर हैविंग इनोवेशन काउंसिल्स और ए टी एल लैब्स इन दो स्कूल्स और नॉट बट एवरी चाइल्ड विल पार्टिसिपेट 
तो वोकेशनल लैब्स का भी हम वही कर रहे हैं तो द कॉन्सेप्ट इज देयर एंड आई थिंक दीज थिंग्स विल टेक टाइम बट दी दिस लर्निंग ऑलरेडी हैज स्टार्टेड टेक इन प्लेस अदर इज द चैलेंजेज आपने जो कहा कि चैलेंज नहीं बताए उन्होंने तो ही इज़ ए टीचर और कोई भी आदमी अगर नेशनल प्लेटफॉर्म पर जाएगा तो आई थिंक कि मैं भी जाऊंगा तो अपना जो ऑब्वियसली कि कोई नथिंग कम्स आउट ऑफ विदाउट विदाउट चैलेंजेज एक्चुअली तो चैलेंज तो हर चीज़ में है तो वो अपनी समस्या आपको अगर सुनाएंगे तो समस्याएं तो सभी जगह है तो समस्याओं के बाद कहाँ मैं पहुँचा हूँ तो ही ट्राई टू शेयर दो थिंग्स एंड आई थिंक वी शुड अप्रिशिएट हिज प्रजेंटेशन और स्कूल क्लस्टर और सोलर इनपुट्स का है तो पी एम श्री का जो पी एम श्री स्कीम एंड वाट आई सेड इन माई ओपनिंग रिमार्क्स ऑल्सो दैट इट इज़ नॉट ओनली दिफ्टीन थाउजेंड स्कूल्स विच आर गोइंग टू बी पी एम श्री दे आर दे पी एम श्री स्कूल्स बट वी हैव टू डेवलप ऑल दी स्कूल्स ऑन द लाइन ऑफ नेशनल एजुकेशन पॉलिसी ऑन द लाइन ऑफ पी एम श्री स्कूल्स दैट इज़ द आइडिया एंड वेन आई से दैट एंड द प्रजेंटेशन विच वॉज शेयर बाई मिस्टर लक्ष्मी नारायणन सो दी प्रिंसिपल्स फ्रॉम सी बी एस ई स्कूल सोल्सो आर देयर सो इट अप्लाइज इक्वली टू सी बी एस ई स्कूल सोल्सो वेदर दे आर केंद्रीय विद्यालयाज दे आर नवोदय विद्यालयाज और दे आर प्राइवेट स्कूल्स सो वी हैव टू थिंक इन दिस लाइन एंड क्लस्टर अप्रोच लास्ट थर्ड चीफ सेक्रेटरी कॉन्फ्रेंस टूक प्लेस एंड ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑल्सो शेयर दिस आइडिया दैट प्राइवेट स्कूल्स ऑल्सो शुड ट्राई टू हैंडल दी neighboring schools because it is not that only the miss if suppose there are two schools so it's not that only you or i can teach somebody something to other person the learning will be cross learning every time so it will be the it will be beneficial for the children of private schools also government schools also kendriya vidyalay also so this is the idea behind this school clustering and it's taking place uh, so i just would request my other colleagues here so they also want to say something on these points thank you i'll just address that point wo reh gaya ek so uh, i can completely understand uh, that kisi bhi domain mein jo technical log hain jaise educators hain uh, ya fir medical field mein doctors hain ha <coughs> medical field mein doctors hain yahan pe educators hain to ekdam se data dashboard se sabko lagta hai ki ye this is not good this uska karan bhi ye hai ki jis tarah se ye sab cheeze historically use hui hain वहाँ पे ये सब चैलेंजेस रहे हैं कि वहाँ क्या डेटा एंटर के लिए एंटर हो रहा है वो रिलायबल डेटा है वो रियल डेटा है वही मेन काम बन जाता है अदर थिंग्स गेट लॉस सो आई अंडरस्टैंड दिस स्किप्टिसिज्म बट देर आर अ कपल ऑफ नुआंसेज इन दिस होल थिंग दैट आई शेयर जस्ट नो दैट यू हैव रीच द पॉइंट टू क्लैरिफाई दैट रिवॉर्ड एंड रिकग्निशन रिवॉर्ड एंड रिकग्निशन इज अ वेरी पॉजिटिव मोटिवेटिंग फोर्स द डिविल और द और द नुआंस इज कि वो किस बेसिस पर हो रहा है वो रैंकिंग के बेसिस पे हो रहा है टॉप तीन को या फिर एक एप्सिल्यूट गोल है और जो जो उस एप्सिल्यूट गोल तक पहुंचता है उन सबको रिवॉर्ड एंड रिकग्निशन हो रहा है दैट मेक्स अ ह्यूज डिफरेंस एंड आई एम शेयरिंग फ्रॉम प्रैक्टिकल एक्सपीरियंस इन स्टेट्स लार्ज स्टेट्स लाइक यूपी अगर आप एप्सिल्यूट गोल रखते हैं आप एक दूसरे से कंपीट ही नहीं कर रहे नो बड़ी इज कंपीटिंग विद अदर पर्सन एवरी वन इज कंपीटिंग विद दमसेल्स टू स्ट्राइव फॉर अ बेटर आउटकम दैट इज वन रिवॉर्ड वर्क एंड बिकम मोटिवेटिंग एज अपोज टू डीमोटिवेटिंग सिमिलरली कॉम्पिटिशन की जो बात है कॉम्पिटिशन वर्कस इन एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन इट मे नॉट वर्क फॉर एजुकेटर्स राइट जब एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव स्ट्रक्चर जिस तरह से है हमारा द वे द सिस्टम वर्कस उसमें कॉम्पिटिशन का एक महत्व है बिकॉज दैट इज एन ऑल्सो हेल्दी कॉम्पिटिशन इट्स 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 नॉट अ नेगेटिव दिस थिंग सो जो मैं स्टेट लेवल स्कोर कार्ड की जैसे बात कर रहा हूँ ऐसे नवोदय विद्यालय केंद्रीय विद्यालय संगठन लेवल पर भी हो सकता है स्टेट के लेवल पर हो सकता है दैट बिकम्स अ काइंड ऑफ समवेयर अगेन अ ड्राइवर ऑफ एक्शन फॉर पीपल तो उसका एक सिस्टम में एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव लेवल पे उसका भी महत्व है बट एजुकेटर्स के लिए प्रिंसिपल्स के लिए आई थिंक एप्सिल्यूट गोल इज वॉट वी हैव सीन वर्क इन स्टेट्स आई एम हैप्पी टू स्पीक टू यू सेपरेटली ऑल्सो Thank you. I think the questions are by and large answered. But Professor uh, Kashyapi is very inspiring. Always I listen to her. Loneliness I want to take. Loneliness one. I think in all organizations the top is loneliness. Unfortunately, but if you give them community, that loneliness will not go in their offices. They have to connect with the people they are leading. So I think something has to be done. What is the kind of leadership that they have developed? that they have not suddenly become very lonely in their offices so that is one thing and the uh, second thing probably uh, prabhat ji was trying to say if i am right that sanskrit can help learn other languages 
So if that is so, it's fine, welcome. And of course, the sustainable, you know, education for sustainability developed by uh, UNESCO. And India is a world leader in uh, international solar alliance, you know. So all sustainable practices, you know, the green energy, uh, saving water, uh, no use of uh, plastic and things like that, we should encourage it. And I'm with you on that. Thank you. Thank you to all our panelists and participants for this engaging and informative discussion. Thank you, sir, for your thoughtful concluding remarks and for summarizing today's discussion so effectively. So to formally close our session, I now invite Dr. Preeti Meena, Director, School Education, to deliver the vote of thanks. Ma'am, please. Good afternoon to everyone. As we conclude this enriching session of PM Shri Scheme, I extend my heart, heartfelt thanks to all the panelists and participants. A uh, special thanks to our additional secretary, Sir Shri Vipin Kumar, sir, for chairing the today's session and giving his contributory remarks and his continuous support and guidance for implementation of the scheme. I am grateful to Shri Ashok Pandeji for giving his in valuable input on promoting the excellence in PM Shri schools. A uh, special thanks to uh, Shri Siddharth sir, who has come for the Chhattisgarh and share his uh, uh, share his uh, experience how uh, challenging it is to implement the PMC scheme in the Naxal affected and tribal areas and how successfully he is doing with the convergence model. I extend my thanks to Shri Gaurav Goyal for sharing his experience on policy implementation and governance. However, he said that there will be five sutras for successful implementation of the scheme, but he has told us three sutras only. I would like to hear th two sutras later on. I appreciate and thank you Sri Lakshmi Narayanji for uh, his uh, sharing experience in uh, PM Shri Kendra Vidyala Virudnagar. It was a really wonderful work he is doing and uh, I expect that all the PM Shri school principals, uh, he will be setting the role model. Thank you so much. Thank you to all uh, participants for this engagement session. Thank you so much. He will tell two more sutras in next session, Preeti, when you invite him. Thank you and I request to all of you to join for lunch. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Preeti Meena, for your gracious vote of thanks. With that, we conclude our session. Thank you all for your active participation and for making this event a success. Have a wonderful day ahead. Dhanyavad. Namaskar. Yeah, 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 that's what I said.